Okay, so this is a first example of pure data being used on a Raspberry Pi uh, to control uh, with a goal of controlling GPIO output uh, via Python. Uh, I've got uh, Raspberry Pi Zero uh, here sporting a uh, audio shield because the audio on a Raspberry is not terribly amazing. So we've got that set up for just basic testing. Uh, we've got three LEDs, high power LEDs, which are turned around because I don't want to be blinded uh, when doing tests. We have a Pico Buck driver running these LEDs. But if you want to do the example, uh, you don't need all this. You just need three basic LEDs. Uh, so here is the pure data patch. The example is given on a GitHub page. Uh, don't need to look at all the details here, just need to understand that there is a slider for sound. I'm already going to pump this up. There's a toggle switch to start the sequence. This is a very rudimentary example. It's just three notes being played in sequence. There is a metronome as well. We can change the, the behavior. Um, and I am currently using the interface of uh, Pure Data on the Raspberry Pi. On my, I'm using it on my computer through SSH, so there might be a little bit of a, a lag, a little bit of delay um, in the interaction, but you're going to hear the sounds. Nothing terribly interesting. I'm not a Pure Data guy. I'm more of a Raspberry guy. Um, all right, so... So you can see the three notes being turned on and off. We don't see any reaction from the LEDs yet because I need to turn on my power supply. All right, so you can see that we have a reaction with the LEDs turning on and off, depending on, oh, I'm currently I'm changing the metronome. So this is the first basic example of achieving GPI output. I'm going to turn this off really quick because it's annoying. So that's a first example of uh, achieving a GPI output signal uh, through with LEDs. Uh, you can use it for whatever you want after that. Uh, basic example, uh, hopefully new, more to come soon.